What is going on guys, it's actually here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be previewing the FA Cup replay between Wolves and Shrewsbury and Molyneux tomorrow night. Now, um, as I said in the review um, a couple of weeks back now, I said the replay is a really good opportunity now to just get this tie over and done with uh, and move on into the fifth round because that was really uh, in the fourth round... Um, original game uh, against Shrewsbury away. That was Shrewsbury's chance. Um, I really do think that was Shrewsbury's chance um, to cause an upset. And for a large majority of the game, it looked, especially when they went soon a lot through uh, Luke Waterfall, it definitely looked like uh, that was the case. Uh, it definitely looked like we were heading out um, of the FA Cup, but a uh, goal from Raheem and a goal from Matt Doherty as well. Um, um, spare the blushes. And we come into this game at Molyneux you now. It should be pretty straightforward, to be honest. Um, Shrewsbury are not in the greatest form themselves. Um, they, I, th I believe they lost to Luton at the weekend. Um, you know, they are top of the league to be fair, uh, Luton, but but um but still uh I think they did uh get a walloping to be honest. Um so they're not coming in to this uh fourth round replay uh in good form. We're exactly the opposite. We're we're coming into this game uh in very, very good form. Um, after the Shrewsbury game, we went on in midweek and obviously absolutely annihilated West Ham 3-0. Um, and then followed it up with a 3-1 win away from home uh, on Saturday against Everton. Um, so, we're on really, really good form at the moment. Finding our feet once again. Um, we're on really good form. It really does look like 7th um, is a possibility in the Premier League, but... Yeah, we're we're in really good form, and we've scored six goals in, um, in the last two games, only conceding one. So we've we've been uh, since the Shrewsbury game, we've been quite um, quite tight defensively, and um, and also um, quite uh, quite fluent in attack as well. Um, so we're definitely in very good form and. Obviously, it's not going to be as straightforward as it seems, but it definitely is. Hopefully, in the end, um, at the end of the day, going to be uh, a routine win for us. Because, it, especially in this game, um, away from home um, for Shrewsbury, they're not in particularly good form. We're in very good form. It just depends on the the team that uh, Nuno plays. Um, that's all it depends on, really. Obviously, if if uh, if Nuno plays a strong team, then there's obviously no doubt, really, that uh, we'll come up trumps and face Bristol City away in the fifth round, which should be um, another win, hopefully. Um, obviously, Bristol City, they're in good form at the moment in the Championship. Um, they're in quite good form. Um, in the in the fourth round themselves, they beat Bolton. Um, so yeah, if we do beat Shrewsbury, um, we've got another good tie uh, ahead of us uh, against Bristol City, which is definitely winnable. It's a definitely definitely winnable tie, and if we win that tie, we're into the quarterfinals, uh, which. Um, things will be looking very tasty then if we manage to get to the quarterfinals and um, um, get past Bristol City. But yeah, we're going to get to the fifth round first um, and hopefully it should be, uh, in the end, a pretty routine win against Shrewsbury. If you did enjoy this preview, make sure to smash that like button and I shall see you um, on Wednesday with a review of the Shrewsbury game. Until then, goodbye guys! <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> oh,